Hey everybody, it is Harlan, and you guys are in for a treat today. Um, you're in a treat for a treat because you have a special guest, and he is one of the heads of a company that is called Sunfrog Shirts. That's why I said how a ribbit can make you rich. Now, there is nothing for sale. There is nothing for sale on this webinar. However, I really want your attention. Um, you're going to get the chance to ask lots of questions. For those of you who are in my coaching program, you know that in my last, um, in the last session, I showed you how I very, very quickly put up an affiliate link to a Sunfrog shirt. Um, since then, I have posted some Sunfrog shirts on different pages uh, at different times. Now, the cute thing, and this is what's really important, is number one, these are not my designs. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, finding a designer, paying a designer, whatever. I only posted designs that were proven successful designs, and we'll talk more about that in a few uh, minutes. And I didn't post these as I should have every day. Um, I did them only sporadically. And even so, um, I, I now have a payout coming to me of over a thousand dollars, okay, with extremely little work, virtually no work. You're going to see number one how this works. Number two, you're going to see that this is entirely legit. And number three um, is we're going to give you the opportunity, and I'm going to give you a special link to sign up so you'll be taken well taken care of. So, you know, for those of you who like multitasking, please stay and wait for that special link. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. Um, and this way they'll know that you're with me and that um, they should take special care of you. So this is, um, someone said, oh, no, I just signed up. Duh. Um, the, um, you got to wait. You got to wait. So, folks, um, <laughs> let me introduce uh, Tim Kroll to you, who is one of the heads of Sunfrog Shirts. And um, just to show him that you're alive and a friendly bunch and you don't bite, would you um, type in a few welcomes in the question area? Welcome, Tim. Hey guys, awesome. Thanks for having me. Um, I'd like to be able to start out just to uh, give you guys a couple of uh, uh, quick illustrations of just how quick, like, like how easy this is. Um, yeah, wow, that thing filled up fast. Oh, um, let me make really you quick. the presenter. Is, are you ready to shoot? Okay, okay I'm going to make you. Yeah, the yeah, I can absolutely do that. Yep. And then, and then they're going to see whatever's on your screen. So um, be careful, you know, like. <laughs> gotcha. It's it's like yeah, you I've know, got a bunch of different things setting up. Um, no, it's like okay. Now you have to click show your screen. I know, I, but I have to pick which screen I want to, <laughs> which one I want to show. You know, so it's going to be like um, it's like the movie Coming to America, where they caught the guy looking at the McDonald's ma manual. You know, we don't want to <laughs> exactly. See, we don't want to see the screen. McDonald's, where not McDonald's. <laughs> we don't want to see the screen where um, you're um, studying Teespring. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. No, that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, so let me give you just a real quick couple of illustrations. And um, this actually happened about a year ago. Uh, no, two years ago, actually. And um, this is when we really first stumbled onto this and understood that we actually had a powerhouse, something that was simple that um, basically anybody could come through and be able to make the money. And like Harlan said, I'm, I'm not trying to sell you on anything. This is just strictly a way to be able to do it. Um, but what we started out with is uh, we put together this entire platform, and I'm showing you the back of uh, it, basically when you log into your manager system, this is the type of thing that you're going to see. Uh, that's what should be on your screen right now. Um, so we set this whole thing up, and uh, we contacted a couple of people that were running some Facebook pages, and um, we actually happened to know a local guy here, and he was a high school student. He set up um, the um, a Facebook page that was specifically for big trucks. And again, he's a high school kid. So he threw out a couple of posts, and before you knew it, within a month, 
he had made around $5,000 um, just by posting links to our shirts. Now, this was back, obviously, two years ago when Facebook wasn't changing their algorithms or anything. But I mean, I'll tell you what, it was really pretty surprising to us and how quick it was that he was able to post something and it have a quick return. And by the time six months was over, man, he had enough money to be able to go out and buy his own truck. And again, he was just a high school student. So uh, that was just one illustration. We found other things uh, throughout the years where um, individuals have signed up and uh, almost tripped over their success just because they have the ability to drive traffic. Um, and like Harlan said, too, there's a lot of designs on our site. So what I want to do is start with just how to sell, um, how to sign up quickly. Um, we have a lot of different components, and it could get pretty deep. I would suggest starting with baby steps. Um, and just like what Harlan said, too, is the fact that, you know, posting a couple links, see how those start, and then build onto that. Because we've got a lot of in-depth type tools that you can use for more experienced type individuals. But for right now, let's just start with how to sell. So the first thing, obviously, would be to be able to have an account set up, which Harlan will give you here at the end. Um, and then what you're going to see is the, uh, this is, what I clicked on here is how to sell. There's several different steps. And again, it's, it, it's very simple, very easy to be able to get signed on. And uh, it will walk you through in case you forget what I've said, in case you, know, you happen to say, oh, how did I do that or how do I go there? Uh, so let me just summarize this. When you sign up, you're going to get an affiliate ID, typically a four-digit ID, which is what you're going to see right here. To create a link, all you would have to do is go to our Sunfrog shirts and choose a link. Uh, choose a shirt that you want to promote. Now, I'm going to go into pets because that's the basic demographic that we're talking about. And you can see in here, within our pets, we've got a couple of different really hot sellers, things that are selling very well right now. Um, and for your information to know which ones are the hot sellers, the top 10 lists going across here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These, from here above, all of these products have sold at least, at a very minimum, 50 times. They may have sold up to 10,000 times. Our algorithm basically takes those top 10 rows and keeps them for designs that have sold 50 or more. Um, some of these designs have sold well into the thousands, and they're just getting started. The other thing that you're going to notice here when choosing the designs is you can check one of these uh, most uh, most clicked uh, topics as far as what, if you look up here, you can type in a search. These are the things that are, are most often searched. So if I click on dog, you'll see all of a sudden it's just going to come up with dogs. And these are random. There's no really algorithm that goes into this. It's, it's just random. Uh, let me go back one. Obviously, if we click on, click on German Shepherds, these are all the German Shepherd designs that are there or have a keyword that says German Shepherd on them. So that's a way to pick it. So you're going to pick this one. Let's say we want to do this one. Uh, what I would do then is remember I said about this affiliate ID. This one, this account has 1070. You want to click on here, you're going to add the question mark 1070. This now becomes your link, that entire thing. I'm going to copy that, and then I can post it wherever I want. Um, whether you post it into an ad on your website, you post it into your Facebook account, if you want to use it through email, it doesn't matter to us. Whatever way that you want to be able to generate traffic, you can do so, and you can choose any of the designs that are on our site, like, like what we've been talking about. Um, the cool thing about being able to do it this way, what we have found is that at least or approximately 20% of all of your sales have nothing to do with this design. 20% of the people that are coming actually come and they see this design and they think, well, you know what, that's a great design, but I don't like the color. So what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll change colors. Now, I want to make a note of something because this is a common question. If you notice up here, all of a sudden that question mark went away. The reason why it went away is because it's a cookie. Once you have your affiliate ID and somebody clicks through that link, there's a cookie that gets set on the end user's computer so that if that end user decides to buy a different color or if they decided to go to a different design, you as the affiliate still get credit for that sale because now that cookie has been set. Um, and going back to what I was originally saying, 20% of the people will actually purchase something other than what you originally posted. Now uh, I found that, thing. Tim, I found that that 
I was selling specific shirts and someone came in there and was buying a whole bunch of other stuff. One person I think yeah. came in and bought about 10 shirts. I like yeah. that. Oh, that's very common. Yeah. Um, and our, our stats show that approximately 10% of the people, um, sometimes depending on the demographic, it could reach as many as 20% of the people will buy more than one unit. They'll buy multiple units. Um, and in fact, kind of like the, just what you said, and, and we have this happen all the time, somebody will come in and, and, and surprisingly enough, those individuals will actually purchase 10 or even 15 or 20 shirts. I mean, they spend two, three, four hundred dollars on our site, and it's just amazing to me to watch that. So uh, somebody just asked about how long does that cookie last. It is a 14-day cookie. Whoa. And, That's nice. Whoa. Yeah. So it's a 14-day cookie. Um, so if that end user actually comes back to us at any point in time in the future, uh, you still get credit for that sale. Um, the now, one thing guys, I will make guys, note of, just to, to tell you why I did the whoa – because Amazon gives you a 24-hour cookie. Well, there you go. You got a 14-day cookie. So that's very generous. <laughs> yeah. So, and there's two other things. Let me just pause on that cookie issue just because I want to make it very clear. The first one is the way our system is set up with the affiliates is always the last cookie in wins. So if you're generating traffic and somebody has already been to our site um, via another fan page, uh, another website, if you're the one generating the traffic last, your cookie will overwrite the previous cookie. And that's the way our system has always been set up. That's the way it will always be set up. Um, just that last cookie in wins. Now, the second question that always comes up is, well, hey, I've, I've got a friend. And I know they ordered, but you know, I know that they've got a cookie blocker on their site. Well, don't fear. Um, we actually have another way to be able to track that via sessions. Um, and sessions, uh, I don't know how, I don't want to go into too much detail, but sessions are kept within our server, and those sessions will allow you to still get credit for that for that sale. Um, so there's multiple ways that we're tracking. The most primary way is the cookie, but I just wanted to relieve any fear if that was out there. All right, so let me go back to uh, this page here as far as how to sell. This is the, again, simplest version, how do I get started? This is the way that you do it. You pick your link, you add your affiliate ID, and you are ready to go. If you want to add a bitly or any other shortener or, or this hider or whatever you want to use, totally fine. Um, it will work. It, it just obviously will go through the bitly before it comes to us. So no problems whatsoever. So let me touch on a couple of other features here as far as how to sell. And these things have been um, one of the the core items that was added, especially if you're working with websites or especially if you're trying to target a specific demographic with a specific shirt, and that's in our collection pages. In our collection pages, you can have up to 20 different collections. In any one collection, you can have a total of 40 different designs. In those designs, uh, let me just click into one here. All right, so what I did just for example, I was actually talking with some people that like Star Wars, so I created this collection as an example. Um, you guys can use, obviously, uh, German Shepherds or Pugs or uh, whatever specific demographic you're targeting. Uh, and these work very simple, too. Again, this link here, if I click on this link, you'll see that it pops open. Uh, where did I go? I forgot. Oh, yeah, right here. So this is um, the link. You have to see a nice little banner here specific towards um, the Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars shirts are always going to be listed here. Let me go back into the collections here. So you see that's where you get your link right there. Now, in order to be able to add the items, that's the first step that you're going to do. You're going to click on add the items. It's going to open you up here. You'll see a green plus button. You want to click that. Let's say I want to add, uh, let's say I want to add this knuckle one here. And then I finish. Okay, that knuckle one now popped up as my number one right here. You see this? Now, let's say that that's the design that I want to test. I want to leave it there. But I also know that this Bobo Fetch shirt is selling a lot better than any of the others. I can move this up and give that the number one spot. Obviously, you have to click to update, but then that now sets it as the number one spot. Um, and the reason for that, and just so you're very clear, is that you saw these two rows were above the fold on my screen, which is pretty typical. These that fall down below here are typically below the fold, so they don't see as much. Um, just as in retail, that's where you get your uh, your higher traffic. Um, and then, like I said, within the collections, you can set up as many different ones. Here's uh, one that I started setting up for a dog. Notice I did not add the banner on this one. 
Uh, the way that you would add it, obviously you have to keep the dimension here for the JPEG to be able to format correctly. Browse your browser and you'll find whatever you have and you can create your own. You can do whatever you'd like on that, but that's how you have it. The other thing that's really cool is you can actually adjust this URL. So if I want to do specifically for pugs, you know, pugs are cute, I can change that, update it, and now that becomes my URL. So it's going to run right down through here, and it's going to look at that, and that's going to be my collection page. Uh, again, really powerful tool. Um, the thing is, we get guys that absolutely love this, and some guys say, well, hey, it doesn't work for me. Uh, the, my biggest thing is I always suggest, hey, test your stuff to find out what's working for your specific demographic. Um, so whether you send them directly to an individual page of a shirt or an individual landing page for a shirt or the collections, totally up to you. Now, the last thing I want to hit in regards to selling, I know there's a couple that have websites, is these widgets. The widgets are really cool in that fact that you can control just about anything on this. Um, in this situation, what I'm going to do is just click on pets. You'll notice that this is a random pet shirt it's pulled directly from our category. I could also do a search term in here if I wanted to do German Shepherds. I could do those. Um, the other really cool aspect is the ability to change the buy it now button. So if I want to get it now, I could do so. And then you see here it changed get it now instead of buy it now. You have the ability to put, put whatever you want in there, obviously to help generate the click through ratio. Uh, and then if you want a green button, you got a green button. If you want a blue, you got blue. It's really entirely up to you on how you want to be able to do that. Here is your um, code as far as be able to set that into your HTML. Copy that. And if you notice, it's always hard coded with your. Uh, I see right here where my my. Uh, icon, let me get in there a little bit better. Oh, it's going to give me the whole thing. There we go. See how that 1070? It's hard coded into that widget, so you always get credit for it. All right. So those are the couple of quick, easy, how do I get started right away? That's how you get started right away. The second part of that is, well, how do I get paid or how do I know when I got paid? Um, there are two items that update real time, and there are multiple items that update every 24 hours. So let me go into the traffic real quick. Um, just real, quick, real briefly, you've got your affiliate traffic. What that specifically looks at is, the traffic you drove to our site via your affiliate account. Um, if you happen to be an artist, you could see if you created designs on our site, you would be able to track those designs specifically. Now, the campaigns, this is another great feature um, as far as being able to track your real-time uh, events, like how many times do I get it seen, how many times is it sold. And the easiest way to be able to do that is you can do that right here. And again, all of these instructions are right here. We also have some other videos I can send over to Harlan. Harlan, you could probably post those. Um, but this is what you want to be able to add at the end of your link. So if I'm going to go back up here, I'm going to add my ID here, 1070. And then the next thing is the amber sign. And uh, let's see, I want to do, I love my dog Facebook test. All right, so if I add that right in there, hit enter. Now I use this link and I push this link out. What that will do, and go back into my tracking, it'll start to show up underneath of here. And as you build your campaign variable tracking, you'll be able to see all the different things. So if I wanted to change this to uh, Facebook uh, mobile, I'm, I'm just pushing specifically to mobile. I want to see what's going on with that. Um, I can add that in there. And now that's going to be a completely different campaign. So every time you put a different section in here, however you want to be able to do that, now that's perfectly fine. All right, go back to tracking. Uh, Google Analytics, for those that understand Google Analytics, I'm not going to go into any detail um, in how to track, but we do have the ability to do that. Uh, tracking pixels, again, to be able to track, you have to have the HTTPS. Uh, you can usually get this from Facebook. You can get it through a couple of different ways. Um, I'm sure most of you guys probably understand how to do that. The only other way that you can track is through your payments. And again, because we're uh, I'm using this as a testing, you can see right in here I can click, go into depth, and this one happens to have a couple pieces of art that's sold. Um, if I want to see what shirt that is, I can examine it, go in a little bit closer. But you'll be able to see the quantity, what was the retail, 
and then if you are the artist, you get paid a percentage on the artist. If you're the affiliate, your affiliate percentage would show up here. So that's basically how to get in and get quick, uh, how to sell quick. Um, seems like there's a lot of questions coming in here, so let me see see if I can answer a couple of these questions here. Um, the shirts are wrinkled. There's, a, there's actually a specific reason for the, the shirts to be wrinkled like that. We've tested back about two years ago, we tested two different ways to be able to show the shirt. The first one was in the 3D mock-up, which I won't mention who the other company is that uses that one. Um, but we tested that one and we tested the lay flat. We found that we had better sales ratio, a better conversion on a real image, like a lay flat picture rather than a uh, artist rendition of a 3D mock-up. That, uh, that, that shirt, as far as with the wrinkles, that gives it the effect that it is real and that it's actually something that's being used. Now, there's a second reason for that, and we've actually gone through and done a couple of case studies, uh, one of them being Amazon. Amazon will only allow two types of photos on their site, either a lay flat picture like what you see or uh, a picture of the shirt on a physical person. Those are the only two types of shirts that will be allowed on Amazon. They do that for a specific reason. Obviously, it's an end user experience that that end user actually can now see the design for what it really is rather than being manipulated by an artist on a 3D model. So that's the reason why the shirts are wrinkled. Um, as far as the commissions, uh, there's a couple questions in here that regard to the, the commissions. The payout happens on a couple of different ways. The first payout is it has to be a minimum of $50 before we will release a payment. If you make between $50 and $500, the payment will happen on the first of the month for the previous month's activity. So between 50 and 500, you get paid once a month, basically the first business day for the previous month's activity. If you make over $500, there will be a button that pops up that says request payment. Once you clear that $500, you can request payment at any point in time. Um, but the key element is you need to make sure when you sign up, and a lot of people miss this, let me go into details, is to actually fill out all of your information here. So if I want to get a check, uh, and this is check and direct deposit are only for United States residents. We don't have that for international yet, but we are working on it. Um, so check and direct deposit are for uh, U.S. residents. Make sure you fill out your information because um, if you don't fill it out, we won't know where to pay you. International, right now we're working with PayPal, but we will have a couple of other options up, open up soon. Um, and again, like I said, as soon as you hit that 500, you'll be able to request that payment. Okay, so um, let me let me follow up on that, Tim, if I may. Um, yeah, it, absolutely. It says in my account that you pay the first of the month. Is there any reason for me? to wait to get paid since I'm over the payout thing? Or can I request it right now? Uh, you could, let me just get your account open here. I, let me jump out of here. Hang on, just a minute. You gonna show everybody how much I made? Uh, well, as long as you have, as long as I have your permission. I don't care. <laughs> but they just need to know how little work I did to get there. All right, so I'm going to put that on the screen. It should show up here in a second. It may take a second. There it is. There you go. Okay, so you guys... Do you want to talk to this, Harlan? Yeah, so you guys see that I made over a 1000 bucks. Now, um, if you click on any of the dates, like, for example, I sold 23 this today. If you click on the date, you see which shirts you sold. So you could put them... And, you know, you go over it and you click on it and it'll show you exactly which one, which color, et cetera, um, whatever. And, and you, some of the people bought shirts like uh, you see the one with the girl with her arm. Click above that one. I'm not. Oh, a. That's a <laughs> that's a Game of Thrones shirt. <laughs> okay, so you see, I didn't even know that. But in other words, like somebody bought a dog shirt, and there were a couple of Game of Thrones shirts bought. Okay, and because they yeah. came in on my link, I got the credit for it. And copying and pasting the link and writing a sentence took me maybe all of a minute. 
Now, how many people think that spending a minute a day or two minutes a day to make a thousand bucks is a good is a good deal? Anybody out there who think that that's cool? And 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 I didn't design the shirts. And how did I know which ones to pick? Because um, the good old folks at at uh, at Sunfrog told me which ones. If you go to the begin the, the page, if you go to the page and you look up pets, it tells me um, it tells me which the best sellers are. So I went to pets. Okay. Oh, you want to go to pets? Yeah, that's where right I went to pets, and it tells me hot sellers. Okay. I'll go with the hot sellers because they're telling me that they work. And that's it. Now, I posted the blue, second row, the one on the right. I'll go back to that oh, one. Sorry, I was going. You're way ahead of me. The one on the right there, all the way on the right. That's this the one. one. Yep. Let me go into that one a little bit further. Okay. That one says, ban stupid people, not dogs. And I wrote about how people want to ban specific breeds like pit bulls, but they're banning the wrong thing. And I said, you know, wear this with pride. And I sold, I don't know, how many I sell today? Like 10 shirts or something like that? 20 shirts? Um, yeah, let me, I'll, let me jump back into your account. I, I, I want to make a note of something here. I thought it was pretty interesting. I don't know if you caught this or not. This shirt here is a dog shirt, right? dog-related category. This one is uh, Khaleesi, which is actually off of the movie category. This one is off of the lifestyle category. I'm sure you didn't post this, but that's a nope. lifestyle category shirt. This one is a gardening shirt. It came off of a gardening shirt. Uh, this one here, again, is Khaleesi. This one here, again, is that Photoshopped one. And now I'm back up into a gardening shirt. So I'm looking at these shirts. I've got this one's the dog, so it's a pet. So I've got one, you've got one, two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two out of eight are actually related to pets. Now, obviously, if I scroll down, you're going to see a lot more. But this is the power of our system, is that you've got all of these sales here, which you would have probably never, ever advertised these shirts. <laughs> but that's what it is. Right. And folks, people are saying, where do I advertise it? I just posted it on um, the Doggington Post. And people are saying, well, I, you know, I need more likes. Well, that's why I did a webinar showing you how to get them. Because when you invest in a, an, a Facebook page, okay, when you invest in a Facebook page and you have an active Facebook page, the people there know you, like you, and trust you. And when you post a shirt, you go boom. And I assure you that, you know, I'm not exaggerating. It did not take me more than a minute to post. That's it. A minute. And and that's pretty darn good money. Yep. Yep. So where do you want me to go from here, Harlan? What else would you like me to talk about? Well, I'd like you to address something that <laughs> someone said to me today, and then we'll um, um, we'll 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 go further. Is someone said to me today that that the reason that this worked and I made this kind of money is because it's me? Okay, now you told us about the high school kid who made five thousand yeah. dollars or so. Um, yeah. Give me some ideas of like re regular payouts to people. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There are so many variables that go into this um, that it's hard to say this is the average. Um, and I'm sure you're aware of this, Harlan. I mean, because you look at things that it's like, well, what can I make? Um, the potential is obviously the, the sky. Um, we have guys that are making. You know, we had one guy, he posted a couple of his shirts, and um, he he ends up making $14,000 in about, I would say, four days. He doesn't have a, um, a fan page. He doesn't have any websites. All he does is he takes the product, and he specifically targets a demographic. 
he has a couple of key elements that he pulls as far as for his Facebook ads. Um, you know, he obviously has a little bit of a Facebook page to be able to run the ads, but he specifically targets uh, whether it's a state or something like that. And he just goes after those and spends some money with the ads, and he made $14,000 in about four days. Now, I mean, he, that's a high number. Um, he, he really um, puts a lot of ads out there in order to get that. But again, it, that's the potential of what one guy could do. I would say the average um, individual usually makes, and again, it, it depends on if you're doing it as a hobby or if you're doing this as a business. The people that are doing it as a hobby are individuals that post maybe once a day, maybe once every other day. Those types of individuals make around five to thousand dollars a month. Um, you know, again, you're talking two to three times a week that they post into a fan page that's maybe got uh, 10,000 individuals. Um, those that are really hardcore and they, they know they do their advertisement, and I'm sure that's probably what your training is all about, Harlan, is to be able to learn how to get likes and how to write good headlines. Right. Those individuals, you should be able to expect to make at a minimum probably $2,500 a month. Um, but I would say that's just a bare minimum. If you're really putting the time and the effort into it, it's it, that's all it is. Um, you would be able to have probably a lot more from there uh, if you decided that you wanted to um, go further into it. But that's, again, that's just a couple of real quick illustrations. I can go deeper if you want. I just didn't want to spend the time talking about different people. Well, what I'd like for you to do now is let's say that they've had a design that's been successful already. What can they do with mm -hmm. that? What can they do with that? Oh, that's that? a great question. Yeah, let me um, go into, I'm going to move a couple of things around so you're going to see some changes here. Um, bear with me for a minute. One other thing while I'm doing that, let me and by, uh, and by the way, Glenna, Glenna, would you type in the sign up link now? Remember, we're not selling okay. you anything. This is not you're not it's not costing you anything. Just sign up. Yeah, this, yeah, we don't charge anything. There's nothing, there's no cost. There are you know, every single person who's on this call should be signing up. And the sign up link for those watching the replay aren't gonna get it is killstein.com forward slash sunfrog. Okay, and Glenna's putting that in the chat. killstein.com forward slash sunfrog. That way they know that we're connected. And um, and then guys, you know, take it and run with it. Okay, I'm going to shut up for a while. And Tim, you want to show us what we're looking at? Yeah, there's a couple of things. I, I wanted to make sure I got this point in just because some people have asked about this. We do have designers. Um, so the first step is how do I find designs? How do I find a designer that, hey, I really like this guy. I like his types of designs, so I want to be able to watch him. Um, you'll notice here that we have, this is a website. It's the official apparel for the I Love Dog site. Um, great guy. Love this guy, but I don't want to distract from anybody else. This guy, I'm going to click on, this is his actual uh, art profile page. So if you notice here, it says art by. This is all of the designs that he has ever created and put on our site. You go, as an individual or as an affiliate, you are welcome to sell these. In fact, he encourages you to sell his designs. See, it's pretty extensive here. Okay. So if you ever wanted to find designs, if you wanted to find a specific artist, you have the ability to come in here, and the way that you get here is you can type in sunfrogshirts.com backslash artist backslash, and that will give you exactly what you're looking for. Um, a lot of different things. You may even recognize some of these names, the Pet Doof. Um, I don't know if you know who that is or not, but again, a lot of different guys are out here being able to put their art on our site, and then this is a quick and easy way to be able to find them. All right, so that's one thing. Now, second thing is, okay, if you have your own design, how can you upload your own design? So let me walk through that. Um, just, I'll try to do a quick overview. I'm going to work on a premise that you understand how to create a working art file, which would be like a vector image or a high resolution PNG. So I have to assume that in order to talk the way that I'm going to talk here. If you don't understand how to do that, that's a conversation for another day. Most commonly asked questions are going to be set up here. 
be able to find different ways. There's uh, how do I download, um, what is the PSD file, where is the PSD file, where is the template at. All of these things are going to be here. So the first step is getting a working art file. Um, my working art file for this situation is a vectorized AI file. I like to use Adobe Illustrator. There's other ways that you can do it. It doesn't have to be AI, but this is the situation that I like to do. So I'm going to do a quick one. I'll show you right here. I created this little design. It's just a really simple saying that I'm using specifically for um, this situation and scenario. All right. Second step is I need a mock-up. Okay, so how do I get a mock-up? So let me just get rid of this. This is, again, Photoshop. You have to drop in the pieces of art. Let me just delete this whole thing here. That way it's – what you will see is a black image of a shirt with art goes here. First thing I always do is I turn that art off because I know exactly where I'm going to put this. So this is my art file. I'm sorry. This is my art file. Here's what you'll see. This is my t-shirt mock-up. I'm going to come into this. I'm going to grab what I've got here. And because AI likes Photoshop, you can just drag and drop this. Again, I'm assuming you're working on a, a knowledge of what we're doing here. You see it kind of centers it, but not really where I want it. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to stay within these blocks. Uh, you know, I want it to be a little bit more center, so I'm going to drop it down. And then I'm going to hit Enter. Um, one key component is you always want to make sure this vector file stays inside of where this working art file is. You don't want it above or below because it will mess up the layers. Now, obviously, black ink on a black shirt just doesn't work. So I'm going to click on this, and now all of a sudden you say it. Uh, you see it as far as a gray, a heather shirt. I'm going to save this. Oh, wrong one. Sorry about that. I'm going to save, save for web. It'll show up like this. I'm going to say just saying gray shirt. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's how we're at. Now I've created my file. I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to click into upload file. First thing, you can download this template, be able to see what kind of sizes you need. If you're already familiar with how to create the working art file, which I'm assuming you are, uh, these are the different images that we need. So I'm going to select my art file. Give me one second here. Put this in a folder. See where it says I'm just saying I'm going to click that. It's going to open up. You'll see the AI file. If it is a PNG, you actually see the image there. If it's an EPS, you will not. All right, next step, I'm going to jump over to the load mockup. Uh, this is where you could, again, download the template. Um, I can also provide the template to Harlan. You guys can be able to take a look at that. I'm going to select my mockup. This is right here. Okay, now see how it beeped at me? It's saying you must select the color. It's a pretty common thing. Some people forget to select the colors in here. So I'm going to select my color. I know that this is a Heather shirt. It's a sports gray Heather of the same thing. Uh, so now I've got to go back in and select my mock-up. Now it shows up, ready to go. Click on Next. Now I'm going to add my description. Uh, this is my title. I'm just saying. Uh, and I'm going to pick my category. Let's say we're going to go to Lifestyle, um, Details. Uh, you, you want to put some kind of description in here. I'm not going to take the time to you know, really think about this. All right, and then if I have tags, um, yeah, whatever, funny, you know, pick, pick tags that are similar. I just don't have the time to think about where it's at. Always have to agree to terms, and then I'm going to finish the design. Once it's finished, it's going to take a minute to upload. I have now, this is my ID, uh, or my link to be able to use. See, it obviously has my affiliate ID. Always make sure you have your affiliate ID at the end of your link, so that way we know who to credit. I can either say, yes, I want to design another one, or not now. All right, so not now. Let me go into the next step. Great, I've got my art uploaded. That's how we all did that. Now, now that I got it uploaded, how do I fix it? Oh, I made the wrong color or whatever. I want to add color options. There's all kinds of things there. Click on Edit Details. You see you've got both the guys and the ladies' tees that showed up here. If I want to edit my title, I can do that. If I want to edit my sales pitch, I can do that. If I want to edit tag, which I can do that. Now, you'll notice up here that there is a guys' tee and a ladies' tee. Come down here, you'll see I have the ability to adjust my price to wherever I'd like to put that. And you can either do it there or you can type it in here. 
I can make that one 21. If I want to make this one 23, I could do so. Anytime you make a change, you want to update that. Or right, click, I, I agree, and it will update. So now it's set at those prices. Okay, again, if I click into this, let me open this up. You'll see here the chart. It's all listed out right there for you. All right. All right, so let me go back into here again. Now, I want to add another color. Basically, what I'm going to do is browse. Um, oh, let me save one here real quick. Sorry about this. Let's say I want it on a pink. So I'm going to browse. Now it's up there. You see the pink. I'm going to choose my color. I want it in uh, my light pink as well as the color I selected. Now I have the option to choose the guy's tea, ladies tea, or both. In this situation, I'm just going to choose the ladies tea. I'm going to process it. You see now it showed up. Ladies tea, I can click on this and now I can, uh, again, once you edit this, this edits for all of them. It doesn't edit just for one. But you notice down here again, it's got the ladies tea that I can again adjust the pricing depending on what I want to look at here. Um, last thing, uh, this is another a little bit more in-depth of a tool. Um, Carlin, do you want me to go into more in-depth or advanced type features, or you want me just to kind of keep it on the surface? Um, well, first, let's take a pause and see if there are any questions. Glenn, let's see if there are any questions okay. that we haven't answered, and, and we'll do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the chat box, so if there's okay. something. Glenna, got any questions? Um, questions? Somebody had... Yeah, some, somebody had asked whether or not, to, uh, to clarify whether or not he had said um, the shirts could be sold on Amazon. Okay. Uh, we do sell products on Amazon. Um, the challenge that we would have is the time frame through which Amazon requires fulfillment. Um, I would rather touch on that topic uh, with that specific individual rather than try to do it publicly because there's a lot of logistics that go into play in Amazon. If that's okay. I don't mean to skirt the issue, but that's, I almost have to. <laughs> no okay. Um, and then just a couple other people had asked um, about the uh, commission percentages for as a seller and uh, and as an affiliate. Uh, oh, the seller and the affiliate would be the same, correct? Um, no. The, what if they're using their own? Um, what if they're using? their own uh, design? What if they upload their design? Oh, okay. Okay. As an artist, you always make 5.5%. So your designs, no matter who sells it, you always make that 5.5%. Okay. So hold on. Let's pause there. That means that you, okay. you put up a design and it's a good design. It's worked for you, but let's say you've exhausted it on your list. So you come over to Sunfrog yeah and other people sell it for you, you yep. get paid for other people selling your design. Um, on, Teespring, on Teespring, we call that theft. But here, <laughs> but here... Here we call it licensing. It's called you're licensing your design, and nobody's going <laughs> to rip it off here. Okay? That's correct. Okay. And that's where I opened up this just so you could see this here. Um, you know, this account has these designs on it. Somebody else, not not affiliated, not that 1070. That 1070 did not drive this account, this traffic here. Somebody else drove the traffic here. Okay. Um, so somebody else drove the traffic, and somebody else bought that design. So this account, because the art is attached to this account, they got the the artist fee on top of that, which is that 5.5%. Okay, so let me just say this really bluntly, guys. If you have had a campaign that's been a winner and you can take it and you can upload it to Sunfrog and you can get paid forever and never do a thing. Am I, am I getting through yep. to you people? You can get paid forever and never lift your finger. Never even sell one. Okay? Of course... Of course, like th that's what I would do. But for example, let's just say in theory, because I would never want you to upload a design that wasn't yours. Let's just say that 
you knew a design was really uber successful um, and you took a design and you modified it so that it's no longer someone's copying, okay, and then you upload it, you could get paid for that forever, okay? Am I, am I getting through to you guys, okay? So your percent that you get for that is 5.5% forever when other people selling it. Okay, yeah. this, this is free money, guys. This is free money. Hey, Harlan, let me add to that too. I have an artist that we signed up a year ago. He's created probably around 100 and 150 designs. Now, he's really good, but he makes approximately $1,000 a month on those designs. He's not pushing them. He's not promoting them. He's not doing anything. They just set on our website, and he's making about 1000 to $1,500 a month just on his design setting on our website. Okay, and I'm sure nobody could use a spare 1000 a month for doing nothing. Okay, now uh, my friend Ricardo wants to know, okay, what's the percent of affiliate commission? Right. The way we have it set up with um, Harlan, and again, this is just a special – introduction, um, so you guys need to get in on this, is that when you sign up through him, you get that 45%. Did you so hear that, guys? That's not, that's not a standard. That's not what we usually get. It's a special. Okay. 45. Okay, so you get, yeah, yeah, so let me, let, let me just explain how this thing actually works, because this is, this is pretty powerful. The 45% is your affiliate traffic. When you sign up, I don't care what product you sell on our site, you would make 45% of whatever that retail price is. In addition to that, if, as an artist, you drive traffic to your own design, so your traffic buys your art, you could make 50.5% of the total if you're driving traffic to your own stuff. I okay. guarantee you no other company will pay you that much. I don't, I've don't. i looked at a lot of them. No other company will pay you that much and allow you to sell one or two or three shirts without any kind of a tipping point. Okay, so guys, now, let's say that you did shirts and you didn't get the targeting 100% correct. Okay, so it didn't work on Teespring, but it's your design, then you just found a way to turn a failed design into cash by uploading it, and if it sells then um, you'll be paid 5.5% um, for life on that. Now, let me ask an obvious question. If someone obviously steals someone's design, and I mean steal, <laughs> it's the exact, you know the design, what's Sunfrog's policy on it? Okay, so here's our policy as far as theft. Um, sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not. We come from the, from the aspect that we're assuming that it's not an intentional theft. Um, we do have the right, if you continue to intentionally thieve or steal art, uh, we do reserve the right to uh, cancel out your account. But we have a lot of grace in the fact that we assume that most people are not doing that on purpose and it's an accident because everybody comes up sometimes with the same ideas. So here's how we work in regards to legal. Number one. If you use a logo, if you use, uh, and this is more within the sports arena, if you use a specific team name, I can guarantee you that shirt will be shut down probably within 24 hours uh, because we use a reactive shutdown process, process rather than a proactive process. So when you upload a design, if you use a logo that we find or it, we know is a specific trademark or copyright and it's specifically infringing on something, we will shut that down. What that also means is that when we do shut it down is we send out an email to that artist saying, hey, look, you've infringed upon blah, 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 copyright, or, or we just give you as much information as we can. Um, and we send that out via an email to you as the artist. Now, the second thing that happens is occasionally somebody will just straight up rip a design off of, um, off of Teesprings, for, I'll use them for example, and they'll just take the exact copy of the art and they'll put it up on our site. That may not be copyrighted per a logo or per a trademark, but it's somebody else's intellectual property. If that's somebody else and we don't catch it and that somebody else sends us a cease and desist, we will immediately take that property down or take that design down and, again, send an email 
to the original uploading artist saying, look, we have received a cease and desist. Now, let's be honest as far as what happens within the world. Um, sometimes somebody says that they own a piece of art and somebody else says that they own a piece of art. They need to work that out between themselves. We, as an individual, will never, I'm sorry, as a company, we will never get in the middle of that. So if somebody sends us a cease and desist, we will immediately take that art down. We will also send an email to the original upload artist, and it is up to you to be able to work that out between um, both yourself and the other one that's claiming it, and we will actually give you the contact of the person that's saying that you must take it down because they own that intellectual property. Okay, that was a perfect answer. That was a perfect answer. So, guys, I'm just going to say really bluntly is, like, you could have, you could have a full-time income finding shirts, slightly modifying them, and putting them up and giving it time, and people will be selling these. Now, um, this is really good stuff because um, you'll make, you're going to make 45% um, percent on stuff that you post um, as, with a proven design. In other words, when, when you do a design, you never know whether it's going to work or not. God, I've had my share of designs bomb. But here, when you go to a bestseller, Boom! You know what it's going to do. So, uh, any more questions before he goes a little uh, deeper? Uh, uh, yeah. Somebody's asking about the 45% of the sale price or the net profit. Um, it is 45% of the retail selling price. Whoa. Not of the profit. Correct. Okay. Um, someone's asking, they're signing up on the new affiliate dis sign up page. What does display name mean? What do you want to have displayed? Um, so let me put this back up here. Uh, let me find it here how to sell. Let me go into collections. Okay, so in this situation, this part right here. It says Design 360. That is the display name that this individual has chosen. Um, so if you have a fan page that's uh, Pugs Are Cute um, and you want to be able to use that as your display name, great. If you own a company that's uh, designed by Kittinger, uh, you can put Designs by Kittinger as your display name. It's what you want the public to see as your display. Okay. Um Again, let's coming back. Any more questions before he, we go a little deeper? Okay, what are the terms? Here. What are the terms for the purchaser? Like, can they return it if they don't like it? Yes. Yeah, but here's the other thing too. I mean, we've got a pretty generous generous return policy. Um, if it's our mistake, if we send out the wrong color, if we send out the wrong design to the end user, we will basically replace it free of charge. Um, I know based on our situation, based on all of our tracking, returns are a point zero five seven uh, percent of everything that we sell out. That includes our mistakes. That includes um, damages by via mail, that includes everything. It also includes um, the end user got the shirt and said, hey, I hate this shirt. It's a stupid looking design. I hate the feel of it. It doesn't fit me. Uh, I want my money back. So it's a 0.05% of everything that we end up selling. Um, if it's the end user that says, I ordered the wrong design, I ordered the wrong color, we will do an exchange, but the end user must return that shirt to us. Um, and they pay for the shipping back to us, and we will uh, take that shirt back and we'll replace it, but they have to send it to us. So those are the terms based on um, what, what we're looking at. And the questions are flying in here. Let me, let me just grab these, and I'll just answer them if that's cool with you all. Sure. Yeah, I'll just go right up to the top there and just grab a couple of them. Okay. All right, somebody asked about canceling the thing. Okay, so I contact me directly. Um, that's a little, uh, okay, let me go down. 
uh, explaining 45% of the end we got that uh, in terms of purchaser retail price is always set by the designer that is 100% correct the designer controls the retail price um, one display name per account that is again correct uh, you can only have a specific name or only one specific display name. Now, the cool thing about that, and let me take that one step further, you can have multiple collections, and those collections could have different names. As you notice, let me jump this back up here. Um, now, that display name is Design360, but I could change this to, again, Pugs Are Cute. Oops, no space. Pugs Are Cute or, um, you know, Pugs are silly. I mean, I could have a whole bunch of different things within that, but you want to keep that display name something that is uh, more generalized rather than more specific. But again, we have some people like I love dog site. He's specific dogs, but that's his niche. Um, that's exactly where he's going. All right. Uh, do you have hoodies? Yes, we do. Um, I, you know what? I'll send Harlan the, uh, the hoodie mock-up because you can actually. If you notice, if I go into Edit Details, and I want to add a color, type, see where it says hoodie right here? You have to add the hoodie mock-up. I'll send Harlan the mock-up so that way he has it. He can share that. Is that okay, Harlan? Sure. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Are there minimum sales? For example, Teesprings has to have a, 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 a tipping point. There are no minimum sales. The way our work process flows is once an order, once a shirt is uploaded, that now becomes live on our site. If the end user buys that individual shirt, that shirt gets put into our workflow. That now gets printed within three to five business days where it's shipped out directly to the end user. Um, it's credited to your account immediately. Again, that's where you can find it in the payment terms here. As soon as a, as soon as the sale is made, it will pop up within the payments or it will pop up with the campaign, again, real time. If you wait for the affiliate traffic, again, I don't use this account, so this guy's not driving any affiliate traffic. But if you wait for the affiliate traffic, this will update every 24 hours. Okay. Um, how is this better than Cafe Press? Well, percentages is one. Um, hopefully, you can see some of the other uh, opportunities that are that are available uh, instead of Cafe Press. Now, we do focus. Uh, I'll give you the negative too. Um, we do focus specifically on apparel. Cafe Press will print on anything. We will stick directly to shirts, but guarantee you won't get the same kind of payout with Cafe Press. All right, can you change the display name? Yes, you have to send. Um, here's another thing that I'll give you. Um, can you, Harlan, can you add this in? It's uh, the email at support at sunfrogshirts.com. Sure, Glenna, you want to uh, type that or, in? There? Or can I send it into a type here? I don't know. Oh, well, uh, well that, Glenna will do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, support at sunfrogshirts.com for situations like if you need to change uh, like a display name or something that you just don't have any any challenge or any way to be able to do that. Uh, zipper hoodies. Uh, I'm going to say no on the zipper hoodies. Um, here's the reason. 99% of the zipper hoodies, uh, maybe not 90, 95% of the zipper hoodies that we shipped out when we were doing a test came back. The reason why they came back is because people hated the fact that when we printed the design on the front, it was always split in half. Um, it just was not conducive to us as far as being able to make money. It wasn't very, it didn't, didn't work very well. So in all of our testing, zipper hoodies just did not make it. <laughs> um, so we always end up getting those back and it's just a headache and then we've got to refund money and then we've got to take it out of your account because of the refunds and things like that. So I'm gonna say no on the zipper hoodies. Um, do you supply t-shirts for kids? This is something that we are looking at. I would say the t-shirts for the kids is probably going to happen, I would say, within the next two months. We do have it, but we don't have a template that makes it easy for those to be able to upload. So uh, give me a little bit of time on the t-shirts for the kids. Uh, you did good, Harlan. There you go. <laughs> uh, shipping costs. You know what? This is a great question, so let me touch real quick on that one. All of our shipping is based off of actuals. Um, so in other words, whether you are international buyer or you're a, a you know, United States buyer or even if you're a North American buyer, everything that you do within our system is based off of actuals. So if we use a t-shirt as an example, t-shirts are pretty light. If you ship it within the United States, it could be as low as $2.50 or if you're going, depending on the distance, Alaska, Hawaii, those kind of things, it could go up to 4 or $5, um, but it's always based on actuals. Second thing, is it's based on weight. So it's based on where it's going and it's based on weight. 
if I add a t-shirt and three hoodies, well, now it's going to go in a box and that price is going to go up. And that holds true whether you're doing it internationally or you're doing it locally as far as within uh, the United States. A hoodie with a couple of t-shirts, if I ship that to, let's just say, California, pricing is going to average between $11 and $15 to ship it. If I ship it to uh, Pennsylvania or New Jersey on the East Coast, it averages between $7 to $11. Um, we're located in Michigan, so uh, that's why you're seeing a difference in that. Um, as far as going internationally, uh, if an international buyer purchases two or three or four shirts, that usually gets pushed through um, customs, and they sometimes will have to pay an extra charge on top of what the shipping is. Uh, shipping overseas is anywhere between fifteen and twenty dollars, uh, but hopefully. Uh, I, and this is the, the truth of it, most of our international buyers, they only buy one or two just because of the shipping cost. Um, but I just want to make you guys aware of that it is, again, based on um, uh, uh, the actual weight of the product and how far it's actually going. All right. Uh, if the shirt is returned, does our account get dinged? Yes, it does. Uh, because everything that we do is real time. It does get dinged. Um, and that's where you would actually see a negative in your thing. But again, it's a 0.05%. Uh, if you'll notice, this one here on the 22nd was returned. You'll see here it says returned. So this one got subtracted out of the account because it was returned. And you see it was for a negative $1.16. Um, so it ends up being a wash, but yes, it does get dinged for those types of things. Uh, do you hold back a certain percentage of the affiliate commissions in case of returns? We do not hold that back. Again, that's why we use the, if you're making between 50 and 500, you get paid on the first month. If you make over 500, we suspect that you're going to continue to make. And so we take a little bit of a risk. But again, we also know that it's a 0.05% of all of the products that are coming back. So we feel pretty comfortable about that. Special sales like 25% off, is that possible? The answer is no, uh, simply because we pay such a high payout. Um, if we were to offer a 25% off or 10% off or uh, whatever percentage off, basically I would have to take that out of your balance, and we don't have a system that's set up um, to be able to do that. We just don't have any more to give by giving a discount as far as a 25% off sale. I think that's it. Yep. I think I'm caught up, Harlan. Okay. Um, so here we go. Um, you want to take us a slightly deeper? I don't want to lose everybody. Yeah, that's fine. You just let me know where to go. I'm, I'm good with whatever. Okay, so what else would you like them to know? If they're going to be like serious guys here... Um, what else okay. should they know? S secret abilities that Sunfrog has. Okay, so here's a couple of really cool items if you want to take it to the advanced level. Uh, somebody had just asked about the shirt quality. Let me pause on that. We use specifically the LAT. It's 100% cotton. It's a ring-spun cotton. It's one of the highest quality shirts without getting into American apparel. Um, it's much better than a Gildan um, or any of the Hanes, uh, those two would be a lower level. We're a step above that, so we do use a higher level shirt. All right, um, so let me touch on a couple of a little bit more in-depth things for people that are a little bit more advanced in selling. First one is the way that you can present your own art. You see here it says the full view versus the slim view. Full view is what we have currently, so let me just click on this so you can see it. The full view means that all of the categories are all listed on the left. All of the other items are listed on the right. We do not recommend SlimView because, like what we were talking about before, and Harlan was a great example. Eight out of the la or what was it? Six out of eight shirts were in a different category. But if you insist upon testing this and you want to go forward with it, we do have an option here for this. So if I click on SlimView, what that does, it's going to remove both the category side and this like. So let me just refresh this. And this can only be done for your art. You see here now, all of a sudden, it's taken away everything, and you just have the landing page for this one shirt. That's it. That's all you got. Okay? So let me go back and put this back to a full view. The other item that we can do, and again, this is uh, somebody was asking about the 25% off. This is a way to be able to add scarcity. 
I can enable a countdown timer uh, for my designs only. When I do that, it doesn't matter the start date. That's pretty much irre irrelevant. Uh, you can pick any date, post, prior, whatever. The end date, though, has to be in front or after your chosen date. I'm going to pick the 25th on this situation, so this would go for a day. I'm going to enable that. I have to always agree to terms. I'm going to update, and now I'm going to go back here, refresh this. And now it's a limited time only. It's only good for 24 hours. Okay, so this is a way to be able to manage your sales if you want. So great example for this, and one of our guys is doing this. He actually uses this. He says that this shirt's available at $21 for the next 24 hours. After that, after 24 hours, he can come back in. Let me go back here. So let me just shut this whole thing off. Take this shirt, and now I'm going to make it, let's say it's $23. Agree to terms. Update. And so now let's say that it was after uh, the time it lasted. Now you see here it's available for $23. So this could act as a sale uh, if you wanted to use it. Um, it's, again, a more advanced feature. You have to maintain this. It takes a lot more work to be able to do these things because you have to keep track of everything. But this is one way to be able to do that. A couple of other quick notes on how to be able to use this timer. If I enable this, let me enable this. Uh, not update. Again, it's 24 hours or approximately 24 hours. I'm going to go back here. As long as the shirt is live, I can manipulate this time frame. So if I want to extend it, the 30th, and I can do so. Update. See, now it's got five days on this. So as long as it's live, you have the ability to manipulate that. If the shirt goes, let me go back here. Today is the 24th. Three. Once that timer runs out, this is what will happen with, oh shoot, timer must be greater. Oh, see what happens? I'm trying to go too fast. All right, that's what happened. All right, let me do this again. Come on. End date must be greater start date. All right, so you have to make sure that it's greater than. So basically what happens, and I can't do it because I'm, I'm trying to break my system, but once this goes and it ends, this will now turn to unavailable. The link doesn't break. It just shows it as unavailable. If you wanted to start this campaign again, you would have to send an email back to support at uh, Sunfrog Shirts, and then they would have the ability to turn it on after it has been retired or after it's been marked unavailable. So that's the way that you can manage that, um, be able to use those. And again, that's just one of the many tools. Um, let me go back to enable off three. There's two more things I want to show you, and then, then you guys can do whatever you'd like here as far as you have the ability to turn off the header and the footer. And you do so by adding amber sign, Shell off. And now you've just basically um, white labeled your shirt design. There's no nothing on here that says about Sunfrog. Um, it's obviously powered by us, but that's now all gone. You don't have any of the other things. The only thing that you have here is these parts. So you obviously are going to have a couple of items that they could do, but again, the category is listed off. Everything else on the outside is completely listed off. To turn it back on, I just turned it back on. But again, this has to be in your URL that you are posting to your end users or you're using as a way to be able to direct the traffic. So these are just a couple of real quick um, things. There's also one other one that I will show you, which is show me. It's S-H-O-W-M-E. And hit enter. And what that will do is it will only show your designs. So in this situation, the category is lifestyle. It will only show the designs that this artist has through their lifestyle. Um, so anyway, those are a couple of more advanced features. I don't want to take too much more of your time, but those are some things that are there and available. You can use them to manipulate and market your to your audience however you would like. Um, the only other option is if you wanted to use this as an iframe, 
we do have the ability to be able to iframe in stores, uh, specifically if you're using a website. You know what? Let me just show you that. I think I know where that one is. Out stores. I think that's it. Yep. All right. So here's an example of an iframe of what somebody actually used. They took our site, iframed it in, still works and functions. Add the cart. See how it just basically has got these guys. Uh, wrap around them, hunting shirts, I can click into whatever, fishing shirts, that's again a search feature. I don't go to camping shirts. Tim, yeah, there's you, so many things. Would you get me that information and I'll teach my guys how to do that? Yeah, yeah, I actually have a video for that, Harlan, and I'll show you, I'll send that over to you. But I'm giving you an overview of the power of our website, and I hopefully am not going and rocking too many people's minds. Because <laughs> okay. it can um, be overwhelming. Guys, how many people here got something out of today's webinar? And Glenna, type that link one more time, which is killstein.com, killstein.com forward slash sunfrog. Killstein.com forward slash sunfrog. And that way you come in with me and you get a higher commission and they take really good stuff okay now guys people are saying I'm gonna make so much money yeah only if you take action you have nothing to lose here you have nothing to lose by getting your designs and uploading them you have nothing to lose by taking these and posting them on your pages the only thing you lose is if you don't take action this is going to be the easiest money you ever make guys this is easy schmeasy stuff, and I really want to thank Tim for um, um, responding and reaching out to me and coming on the webinar. So let's get a few thank you Tims in there before we go, and thank you Glenna for being here and recording. Uh, we will post this because there's a lot of information for you. Um, how do you contact Tim? Uh, we posted it support at um, sun is it sun support at sunfrog. Sunfrog shirt. Yeah, support at sunfrogshirts.com. Yep. Support at sunfrogshirts.com. And um, every single person here should be taking action on something today that's going to make you um, money. So that would be, um, that would make me really, really happy if you guys take this stuff, okay, and make some money. And, um, um, we got one last really good question, um, and um, is your website responsive? And the answer is, yes, it is. It is responsive, um, because I note that. And from the responsive site, if you want to log into the, your affiliate account from your iPhone, you're going to have to, um, down at the bottom, it says go to full site and do that. Okay, it's simple. Yeah. Take you an extra second. But uh, yes, this will work. People can buy easy, schmeasy. Let's go make some money. Tim, thanks a million. We're going to get this out there. And um, really good stuff. Really good stuff. All right. Stuff. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. All right, everybody. You take care. And um, guys, we'll be back. Go sign up. Kilstein.com forward slash sunfrog. Kilstein.com forward slash sunfrog. Take care, everybody. Bye.